What's going on, family? We back in the building. Um, I'm gonna give y'all another testimony, right? Like I told, like I tell y'all in a lot of my videos, like yo, I be having so many testimonies, like they're like every single day, you know, like when you get into this life. Who said? I think it was Martin the Messenger that, that said this, but it was so true when he said it's like every time you walk out the door, it's like a simulation. And that's exactly what it feels like, yo. It feels like a simulation, man. But, um, this is my wing stop testimony. Yahuwah wants us to be out here doing his works, doing his will. This is what he wants us to do. Y'all gotta understand that it's a spiritual warfare going on out here. This is what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Being in the Bible all the time, like, that's that's okay, but you still have to put work behind that, you know? It's not all about the Bible all the time. Don't get me wrong, the Bible is everything, you know what I'm saying? That's where you're gonna get a lot of your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from. But you gotta also have a, a real relationship with God. That's where a lot of people lack it. You gotta have a real relationship with Him. The Bible isn't God. You know what I'm saying? You got to have a relationship with him. You got to talk to him all throughout the day. You have to ask him for things. You have to do things for him. This is how you get your blessings. This is what it's all about. Saving souls, right? So, um, I was going into Wingstop the other day, right? And, uh, I'm in my car just, you know, peeping out the scene a little bit, you know stuff like that because I'm still a street dude at the end of the day guys you know I used to be a street dude at least so I'm aware of my surroundings all the time so I see this girl she stood out to me you know out of everybody that's walking around this girl stood out to me she was walking first she walked she was from the right side and then she walked to the left in front of Wingstop she walked and I'm like I'm getting the, the vibe off of her you know I'm just watching her and I could just tell like she was out of it, you know. And like she had something. There was something going on. So I'm watching her. And now she's on the um left side of the building, right? So I'm like, okay. And um I talked to the most high at that moment, you know, as I'm getting out of the car, I was like, uh, oh, Father, you know, if this is you you gotta continue to talk to the to the father all the time. You know. If you need guidance, ask him. He will give you guidance. But um, I asked him. I was like, uh, see, it was something like maybe um, if this girl is going through something or if I have a message for this girl, I asked him, Father, please, you know, give me the will to do so, you know. So um, I'm getting out of the car, you know, I'm walking to the building. As soon as I'm walking towards Wingstop, here come the girl. She's um she was on the side of the um wing stop and then she started walking right behind me. As soon as I seen that, I was like, yep. I was like, yep. I got a message for her. I have to talk to her. You know. Everybody in this truth, y'all have to open your eyes. Open your eyes, bro. You gotta open your eyes, man. Cause there's people out here all around you at all times that need hope that needs to hear the word, that needs to see that light. They need to feel that light that's within you, you know? She walked right behind me, so I kept the door, I hold, held the door open for her, because I already, I, I already knew. God already told me what, you know, what was about to go down. He told me I had a message for her, so I, he go, I opened the door for you. You know, I was picking up a, um, a order, so, uh, once I got my food from over there, and then um, I got a drink too, so I went over to the um, to the spot where you get your drinks at. Tell me why the girl literally sat right there where, where I was supposed to be going where the drinks are. She could have sat anywhere in the whole wing stuff. She sat right there, you know. So I'm I'm getting I'm I'm feeling her energy. I'm I'm still you know trying to receive messages from the Mosa as I'm getting my drinks. And I'm kind of glancing over at her, and I'm I'm saying like, yeah, she needs she definitely needs a message. So um, 
once I got my drinks, I turned to her and I was like, I asked her, I was like, are you okay? And she just, she looked up at me. And, um, she, she was like, ah, you know what I'm saying? She was like, no. I asked her, like, what's wrong? She was just like, everything. She said something like everything, something like that. And, uh, I just, I told her something like, um, you know, God is with you. You know what I'm saying? He is with you. And, um, God didn't leave us. We left him. You know, he's always with us. I was the same way. I told her I was the same way, you know. I was blaming everything on God and stuff like that. And, and, and little do I know, you know what I'm saying? He was with me the whole time. He's with us the whole time. We left him. You know, you know. Um, I said a few other things too. I for, forgot some of the things I said, but I was in the spirit. Like sometimes when you're in the spirit, you kind of forget some some things. You're gonna forget some things, especially when when that when that spirit takes, you know, takes control. But um, it was just something something that I had to do, man. I, and it it probably could have been more that I could have done. You know, um. I even, I even could have prayed over her, but um, you know, I'm still, I'm new on this, you know, I'm new on this walk, so I'm, I'm still learning, I'm, I'm learning, like this is new to me, you know, this is new, but yo, know, I have no, I have no problem, you know, doing God's will at all. Yeah, it seemed like I was, I don't know how loud I was talking. I guess I was, I was talking pretty loud because once I walked out. Even the uh, one of the workers said something to me when I was passing them, and this oh, I just got this. This is how this is how it was when um when Jesus was doing you know he was preaching on the streets and stuff like that. This is how it was. I guarantee you this is how it was, yo. He'll be preaching like to one person like or he'll be healing one person or something like that, and next thing you know you got a whole crowd of people all around watching and listening. I'm I'm positive that's probably how it was, yo. I'm, I guarantee you that's how it was. But um, you know that was my Wingstop experience, though. My Wingstop testimony. Like when I do videos like this, I don't do videos on like this to to brag and stuff like that. I just want y'all to hear, you know, my my testimony, see what I got going on. Because guess what? God put me through all the things that I went through for a reason, right? And he's still doing things for me until this day. And I say that to say this, like he, all this stuff that I've been through and all the stuff that I'm going through, it's all testimony. And guess what? Somebody else is going through the same thing that I'm going through. Or somebody is going to go through the same thing that I'm going through. You know, everybody, everything don't have to be about um, Bible scriptures. You know, things like this will, will help somebody, you know. But um, <clears throat> had to clear my throat real quick. But hey, I'm out of here, y'all. Take it easy. Y'all be blessed on this Sabbath.